It's February, and art exhibitions to celebrate Black History Month are kicking off in this city. Located in a quiet residential area in Northwest DC, Xena Gallery is one of those exhibitions that open its doors to art lovers. This exhibition, titled Creatively We Unite, aims to bring the work of different artists from different backgrounds together. Marjorie Goldberg, the founder of the gallery and an art enthusiast herself, says she only looks to showcase art that is unique. This show is um, many African American artists that I've some I knew for me for this show, but most of them I've represented over the years. And again, it's a very eclectic mix. Um, a lot of the artists use a big variety of materials. Um, and I just, I love the uniqueness. You know, I like the meaning, I like the power, you know, I, I, I like the energy. Uh, of the art. There are 14 artists that are exhibiting their work this month. Hubert Jackson is one of the artists showcasing his work at the gallery for the fourth year. This particular one here is called Spirits of the Wilderness. It was, uh, it represents uh, the battle of the wilderness which was occurred in, in uh, Spotsylvania County, uh, Virginia in 1864. It was very fierce, and at the end of the battle, the fighting was so intense and the woods caught on fire. And all of the um, people who had been left on the battlefield wounded were burned in the fire. So this particular painting represents like, the spirits of all those people who fell in that particular battle. Not all of the art at Xena Gallery are hung paintings. Some are a little different. Chris Malone makes a special kind of art. These guys are my... Um, People call them dolls or soft sculptures. And they're like a, um, this is like a telling of my unknown African past and how I see it, how, um, how do our old gods feel now that we put them to the side. Whether you're into indoor or outdoor art, Xena Gallery has it all. With art that has many stories ready to be told. The exhibition is open until March 4th. For District Wire News, I'm Rashai Saleh.